Barry is a tank engine who lives on a little railway on the island of Sodom. He's a cheeky little engine with four small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler and a short stumpy... Alright, that's enough. Jesus Christ! He's a fussy little engine too, Ow, you always bashing trucks about his line. There were two other engines on his line too. They were Leonard, the big green diesel, and Arseface, the yellow tank engine who couldn't talk because he had a bum for a face. Poor old Arseface. Barry thinks no engine works as hard as he does on the railway, and he loves playing tricks on the other engines, especially Leonard the Green Diesel. Ah, you utter shithouse! It was all fun and games until one day, after hauling a load of trucks, Leonard got tired of Barry's tricks. He pondered to himself about how he could get back at him for all the times he'd been shunted up the arse. Oh yes, I will. While Barry was asleep, Leonard hatched a revenge plan for his <laughs> driver. Morning Barry. Oh, uh, morning Leonard. Mind how you go at the station today, won't you? Oh, uh, thanks. I will. Suspicious, Barry chuffed off to work. Later that morning, there was an almighty commotion as the passengers shouted angrily at Barry and the railway manager. Whatever is the matter? Gah, that utter metal bollocks up! Barry hurried off to get cleaned up, all the while pondering how he could pay Leonard back. That evening, Barry crept up beside Leonard. His driver sneaked <laughs> out, popped some earmuffs on him, and got to work. Leonard woke up bright and early the next morning, ready for work. Good morning, Leonard. Uh, what? Oh, hello. Leonard tried to move off for work, but he couldn't. Uh, Something uh, wasn't right. Why can't I move? Uh, uh, oh, God, I'm paralysed. Leonard couldn't move because that night, Barry and his driver had rebuilt Leonard into a gigantic green septic tank Fall to the brim with steaming shite. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're a real shithouse now, Leonard. Oh, you utter twat sack, Barry. I'll get you for this. Eventually, Leonard saw the funny side too. Well, at least until the railway manager told him that he couldn't be rebuilt into an engine immediately and would remain full of shit until the following year. There probably was a moral to this story, but I can't remember it. Oh yes, don't be a twat or you'll end up in the shit.